everybody, it's Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews and Cheyenne USA. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a really cool product that I don't know why I didn't discover a long time ago. I saw it and I said, I have to get one. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a hat and it's not just to promote the Waterville Valley Adaptive Ski Program. It's to show how this new product works. Now, the product I'm talking about, it's called the Lid Cam Plus, and it comes in a couple of colors. Uh, I requested the black one because, you know, it's neutral, and I just didn't want to have something that was uh, really, really visible all the time, especially if I was shooting at night or whatever. But the beauty of this thing is now I can get point of view shots as I'm working on things. So we can do right up close point of view shots while I'm doing reviews. Let's open up the box. Let's see what's inside. I know I've talked entirely too much. So I'm going to open up the box. And inside the box is a plastic tray. And inside the tray is the camera and a box of goodies, and we'll check it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera out of the box. Next thing I'm going to do is explore what's inside this little white box. So inside this white box is a small car charger unit. So you can plug this into your cigarette lighter or power port and you could charge the unit up with that. There's a cable that comes with it that um, has a regular USB-A on one side and has a USB micro on the other side. And then there's uh, a power supply for it, which is a standard probably five volt power supply and a lid cam operation manual. So let's see what this little puppy is all about. I'm looking at the back side of it and there's a switch right here that's an LED on and off switch. And uh, here's a close up so you guys can see that. And then here's uh, a power switch there's your record switch, and there's a one-time zoom and a four-time zoom. Now, on the front of the unit, there's the lens, and then there's two small uh, LEDs for lighting stuff up at night. On the rear of the unit, there's a slot for micro SD, and then for the charging. So now the way this unit works is you take your hat and you take the brim of your hat and you click this onto the brim of your hat. You center it up. Okay. I think that's center. And then you put it on and away you go. So I'm going to charge this thing up. I'm going to go out and run some tests. And we'll be back in a few minutes with a wrap up. So you can hear the sounds of gunshot in the distance. We came here to a rifle and pistol range today to test the lid cam. Let's see how it looks from the shooter's point of view. Got to touch that. One foot touching the cone, both hands on the box, holding the above the barrel. Correct. Hang on. Three in the person, Frank. Okie dokie, artichoke. <laughs> Are you ready? Stand by.
gear finish. Unload and show clear. If clear, slide forward. Pull the trigger. Holster. Are you ready? Stand by. Well, it looked like my buddy was having so much fun, I decided I just had to try it. Now, here's a shot from my point of view. Okay, so I'm going to try this. I'm using the lid cam right now, myself, and uh, I've, uh, I've never shot a semi-automatic pistol like this. I've only used, in my day, a uh, revolver. So, here we go. Clear. Well, I ended up getting a great score, and that, that really, really made me happy. Anyway, let's talk about the lid cam. I think it's a great idea. It's a really great concept. Uh, it really, really shows what you're doing. The angle of view is really, really nice and wide. The only problem we had and you'll probably notice this in the videos, was that it cut the top of the targets off and it cut off the top of the firearm. Now, what we noticed is, unless you set up the camera properly on your head, you'll always cut things off. Even when I'm talking to somebody, I tend to cut off the top of their heads. So what do you do? You put a bandana around your head, you set it where you want it, and then you set your hat above it. So then that way, your shot is perfectly framed. That's one problem that's taken care of. The second problem is that the chip that they're using in this camera is not sensitive enough. It's really noisy. If you look into the shadows, you'll see there's a lot of pixelation and a lot of aliasing, which isn't a good thing. Uh, overall, I found the picture to be really, really noisy. If they upgrade the chip in this, lid cam, it could be a really, really great camera. So that's how I see it. Good concept, needs improvement on the chip. So until next time, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews and Cheyenne USA saying, please watch us, please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. Bye-bye.